Okay, people, I coming to you to publish video tutorial about gaming reason why my PC is running cool and what I do to keep it cool. First of all, I keep my PC in front of the main window, so I open the window and I receive fresh air. Because I'm running AMD Ryzen 9 3000 950X Zen 2 architecture processor, third generation uh, architecture Zen 2. For some of you probably ask if aftermarket cooler, air cooler is enough uh, for this processor. I say yes, because I don't run uh, water cooling solution. Uh, I use one of the regular Colgate Silence. I, I need to use flashlight to show to you uh, aftermarket cooler Colgate Silence. Uh, GoPro isn't really good when it comes to zoom in. Forgive me if you can if you cannot see Silence. Uh, and my PC case is also open. Uh, I don't have side panels and I have very strong power supply but what temperatures are when I run a computer including uh, precision boost overdrive uh, the maximum temperature what I was getting was 50 plus degree when I was doing heavy task by default 40 plus degree and uh, when the weather is colder uh, when my room is uh, cold enough, I have like 37 plus degree ma plus degrees maximum temperature. But you can see my computer case is open. I don't have any side panels. And I will show you another thing. I don't have any gas. I also was cleaning my graphics card by using one of the uh, Gakavak electric gas car air compressor. This thing is good if you want your PC to keep cool. Forgive me, a little bit mess on my desk. I have to hide some of the cables so you can see, you can focus on more details. This is Macro Gakavak electric gas car, British version. Uh, perfect for cleaning computer. Make sure your computer is clean enough so it can run quite cool your PC. As you can see, my uh, PC doesn't have side panels and I keep it uh, cool and clean. Lots of space in it. And I can still run Ryzen 9. I don't have any water cooling solution. But I didn't overclock. I only have precision boost overdrive on. Okay, power supply is Corsair. Corsair 850 watts. I bought off eBay for 70 pounds. Make sure you have uh, a, a sufficient power supply. Okay, you can see my computer case. I don't have any side panels because otherwise it would be too hot inside the computer. And I have a couple of the fans on the back and on the top. If you can notice on the back and on the top and very massive uh, silence aftermarket cooler. I paid 45 pounds for this aftermarket cooler, but I also bought expensive uh, thermal paste for 14 pounds. I hope this helps you guys. Uh, okay, another thing is you could buy high uh, PC case which has lots of space. That one is quite huge. It's, maybe it's not the biggest, but it takes little big space of my desk. And I also have 4K monitor, 32 inch Samsung. I paid like seven, 179 pounds. I hope this helps you if you wonder why your temperatures are high 
when you have Ryzen 9, you don't really need to have water cooler system because I'm running my computer fine and it doesn't get over, uh, how to say, oh, it, does, it doesn't overheat, it's not overheating and I use it just aftermarket cooler. But make sure you clean PC on a regular basis by using this type of air compressor. Make your data vac electric gasker. That one is old, 12 years old, but still going strong and it works well. Make sure you clean your PC quite often and including radi radiator and uh, after half year or three months, you check if thermal paste did not dry because mine, uh, unfortunately, was dry after half year because I didn't change for a long time. See you guys.